What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do an ignition base map on Honda Flash Pro for a 8th gen Civic Si. And this base map is gonna pretty much be the start of what you're gonna need to do to tune your own car. It's super simple, it's been gate kept for a really long time, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to set up an ignition map and how to get started. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and open up our Honda Flash Pro Manager if you haven't already. And we're going to click New Calibration. If you already have a tune, you don't have to worry about this, but we have Civic Si 06 through 11 set up. Um, 07 through 11, actually. But what we're going to do is go down here. A good one to really build off of is the Skunk 2 cold air intake header and cat back. So we're going to open that up. All right. So starting off, we're going to go to Ignition. Ignition low. As you guys can see here, uh, this does kind of look kind of messy. It's all over the place. And uh, they actually do have the they do have the ignition values set the same for all the cam angles, which is good. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to be changing all of that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is show you guys a basic ignition map start to finish exactly how I would set it up on any bolt-on car, stock cams, stock injectors. This works for pretty much all of the 8th gens with the K20Z3. First things first, we have to make sure our RPMs are in a actual usable format. So as you guys can see, they have them going up by 250 RPM increments up until about 3,000. Then they start kind of changing it on us. Uh, what I want to do is, I'm, I'm not worried about these high RPMs here. We're not going to be using these. So what I'm going to do is actually spread it out so you can see see exactly what you're changing a lot better. I do this that way I can make sure everything is progressing smoothly through all of the RPMs and it's a nice even progression. So first thing, I'm going to click on this 3500, right click, edit RPM index, and then I'm going to put in 3250. And I'm going to repeat that for all of the RPMs going up here in 250 RPM increments till the end. And then I'll show you what we do at the end. All right, so all of those are edited, except for the last one. I went ahead and just put in a 5500 at the end. Just um, if we're going to be two-stepping out higher RPMs and want to change the timing for whatever reason, we can do that. Um, you're not going to go anything over 5,500 out of VTEC anyways, though. So I'll go ahead and get started on showing you guys how to manipulate this table here. First things first, you're going to go columns 1 through 4 up to 1,000 RPM. And then you're going to highlight those. Right click, adjust, 17. Set those all to 17 now. That's just for scaling purposes. You guys will see how that plays into effect later. Next thing we're going to do as part of the setup is go to 3500 and column one all the way down, right click, adjust, set that to 40 degrees. Then we're going to go to column 10 and the full throttle columns over here. And we're going to highlight from 3500 again, going down to the end, adjust to 26 degrees. And then to get a nice smooth progression between the loads, we're going to highlight the column of 40s, go all the way over to the column of 26s, right-click, interpolate horizontally. Boom. So as you see, that smoothed all of that out. That's all nice, evenly spaced. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to go to 2,000 RPM. A good rule of thumb is you want about probably 18 degrees at 2,000 RPM. We'll put 18 here at column 10. Click that, drag it down to our 26. Right click, interpolate vertically. Boom. Now that's a smooth progression going across there. Uh, we can leave these values and the lower RPMs, we can leave them here. That's fine. We're not really going to be using those. Um, and then what we can do is get our 17. Highlight all the 17s, 1 through 4, and go down all the way to 3,500 RPM, where you started already manipulating those columns. Right-click, interpolate vertically. That'll smooth all of that out. So now that's all smooth. And then next thing you want to do is get the columns you haven't edited yet, 
which are these ones here, you want to get all these smoothed out as well. So we're going to highlight column four down to 3,500. And then we're going to drag that all the way over to column 10. Right click, interpolate horizontally. Boom, smooth that out. Um, these are the things that we didn't edit down here. It's fine to have the timing a little bit lower ramping up because like I said, you're not going to be really using these values that much anyways since it's full throttle at really low RPM. So we can leave those there. Next thing we want to do is make sure that that's actually the same for all cam angles. As you can see there, it is a little bit different. So um, we're going to, we were manipulating the zero degree table. So we're going to click on the zero degree table, highlight all of this, control copy. And then we're going to control V paste to every single cam angles table. Boom. There's your ignition map for all K20s. That should work perfectly. Um, you can make some more tweaks to make it more efficient if you have a dyno, but for a base map, that's going to be a perfect, nice, smooth base map. That's for ignition low. So now we're going to move on to ignition high. Once you have ignition high over here, you're going to highlight column 10, adjust set to 27 degrees, column 1. Set this to 40 degrees. Then we want a smooth progression, so we're going to highlight this, drag it over to the 27, right click, interpolate horizontally. Boom, those are all evenly spaced out now. And pretty much when you're at full throttle, the car is going to be pulling from these columns in VTEC. So pretty much it's going to average depending on your load. So if you if you're at a really low elevation, you'll get more of columns 9 and 10. If you're a little bit higher up, you'll get columns 7, 8, 9. Um, but pretty much these are your full throttle columns, so the car will um, effectively be putting out about 28 degrees at full throttle, which is perfect for the K20s and the 8th gens. And that's that wraps that up. That's, that's all you need to do for ignition. That's super simple. That's been gate kept for, I don't know, 10, 20 years. Um, yeah, this car's been out car's been out quite a while now and no one really shows you exactly how to do it so i just wanted to be the first to kind of go out there give you guys all this information for free and show you how it's done because um you guys deserve access to this it's pretty simple so this is just the ignition aspect of it this is step one of setting up your tune so i will be going through all the other videos of showing you guys exactly how to set up knock control cam angles fueling two-step rev limits all the other all the other closed loop settings, everything you need to know. I'm going to be going through in a full video series. So if you guys could drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, I'm going to have those videos coming out soon directly after this one. So you guys can learn everything start to finish. Do this on your own cars. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a good one.